Hello and welcome to episode 7 of our Timberborn update to hard mode let's play with the Folktales faction. Last episode we built a whole bunch more potatoes and a couple other things. Made a couple of improvements, started a little bit more industrialization over here. And we are well on our way to having some more golems populate our town and take care of all sorts of important jobs. But now we are in kind of a conundrum because we are, uh, you know, 15 days left in a drought. We only have 1,300 water. And uh, this is still on the 24-hour workday, as many of you pointed out. So let's go ahead and fix that immediately. I know I promised that I would fix it before the end of the episode, but I got distracted because that happens all the time. But it's fixed now, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's all sorts of fun. Go ahead and put ourselves a uh, golem here in this water pump. So now these four are going to be going nonstop to get our water resupplied. And since we still have 15 days left in the drought, let's take a moment real quick before we speed up into turbo mode here and talk about what we're going to be doing for the rest of this episode. Now, there's a couple things we have to fix here. Uh, our biggest problem right now, I think, is power. You'll notice none of these are turning because there's no wind. But even if they are turning, we're really only going to be able to make power for about 60 to 75% of our machinery that we have, which means we need a lot more. And importantly, we also need gravity batteries. And... We don't really have a great spot to build those right now. And I think these guys, well, they're not up here working, but I think these guys can still get to these things on the edge here. So my idea was I'm just going to kind of keep making these in a straight line following uh, kind of up the hillside here and then put a bunch of gravity batteries going up into the water and see if there's some way I can make that look Kind of nice, at least. And there's a couple different things we can do with that. Uh, a couple of people have had some pretty good suggestions. Uh, first off, to turn this district into a more or less self-sufficient mining smelting operation by putting in probably a windmill and one of these power wheels and then a smelter over here and having them actually take care of all of their own production and just instead of exporting all of these uh well we actually don't have any stock but exporting the scrap metal to this other district we just export the metal itself which we don't currently have any of so that's a cool idea obviously we can't run all of the power shafts all the way over here that would take way too long and be super annoying but uh, in the meantime, we have some uh, some potatoes we can go ahead and plant over here. Get a couple of those taken care of. And all these golem parts, we still have a few. So we're not going to be turning the factories on quite yet. But we really, really need to get the power figured out. So let's go ahead and put ourselves some stairs going up here. And then we will keep extending this as we have the ability to. And then we'll probably come right out of... Yes. That's going to end up being what we do there. And then we'll just follow right up to here. These guys actually aren't doing this one. Or are they? We'll have to come back and see if that 120 goes down. Let's go ahead and turn on our turbo mode. <laughs> We're still trying to build this biofuel tank. We just need one more metal block. We're almost there. But having these uh, golems work the water tanks is probably the only way we're going to survive if we're, uh, we're being honest with ourselves. Another thing that I wanted to do this episode was to try and fix this area and uh, just, you know, get literally any amount of water retention in here. So I think the easiest way for us to do that is going to be to build some levees here. And I don't want to lose any of this space, but I think we're probably going to have to unless I just go ahead and build straight levees here, which, you know, probably is not the uh, worst idea that's ever happened. So we'll just do something simple like this. 
and get that in place and then come over here and maybe do something similar and have this entire thing just be completely sectioned off. At least for the time being, we'll get this in place and then we can end up putting a water dump somewhere. Probably end up being here-ish. But uh, the idea is to section this off so it's not going to dry out and to where we can also, you know, just kind of maintain it separately. In fact, one of these should probably, probably just be a floodgate. So let's go ahead, before we get too far carried away, let's just go ahead and replace one of these with a floodgate. Just for the sake of being able to control stuff. I know we have this one over here that was put as a flood control device. But if we can have this sectioned off, then that's going to be a big help. Obviously, they're going to take their sweet time to build all that, which is always allowed, I guess. But as far as the rest of the stuff is going... Oh, they already built this. Good. So we're actually supplying substantially more than we're currently needing to use. Which is all sorts of fun. Has this gone down from 120? It has not. Okay. Now I'm, I'm curious if they can actually do anything with this. If they can't, that might cause a couple of problems. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to do some, uh, some dumb stuff here just to try and, uh, you know, get everything taken care of, but they'll take care of that. Now that we have this done, we're making, oh, we're making so much power. Which is why I wish we had gravity batteries. So we're going to have to... I think I can still reach a, uh, a thing over here. I don't know, do I want to do... Yeah. We'll just do that. See if somebody can come and finish this thing. Oh, too far from a district, huh? Alright, is that because it doesn't have a path? Or is that... Okay, it's just inaccessible. Well, that's uh, unfortunate, but that's why we'll put stairs there. That's okay. Well, we'll have to uh, just kind of leave them like this so this guy can just get built. All right, um, how are we looking over here? Making progress still? This isn't low. Oh, this is super low. All right, well, that's why we have this water reserve for. I should probably turn this off. Let's go ahead and just let some water in without flooding, without flooding, without flooding. Thank you. I know I did that too fast. That's annoying. Well, has this gotten us any further? I guess we can be controlled about our water input here. Let it fill most of the way back up. We do still have 11 days. That is fine. We still have plenty of water down here. We are going to try and get across. Maybe, maybe this episode, maybe not. But I want to get over here and dynamite this out. But we still have to research all the dynamite stuff, which is going to take probably a pretty good amount of time. Okay, that is already down, so we'll just kind of leave that alone for now. This will be fine just the way it is. Okay, we have a golem we haven't assigned to anything, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start assigning golems to some of the production jobs, assuming we have actual space for them. And I can afford to have the, uh... Oh, the smelters aren't operational. Because they're not prioritized, because we don't have enough... Oh my god, we have 27 children. Okay. Uh, I can't put them in the inventor hut, can I? Nope. 
I always want to try that for some reason. Ah, so what buildings can I just go ahead and stick them in? I guess it's just going to have to keep being... Oh, we have so much water stored up. See, this is good. We're pumping. Probably should be farms, because if I want to do beehives, it's going to sting. But golems should not be affected by stings. Should I research this? I guess I'll just make this one into golems. And then research beehives and we'll place beehives. Okay, so if I go two spaces up. Alright, we're about to get uh we're about to get serious here. Oh yeah, that had just been planted, that is perfectly fine. All right, now somebody come get this thing. So I got, I got robot farmers that are going to do everything I need them to do. And not get stung by bees, because they can't. Come on, someone come get this thing. Literally anybody. Come on. Nobody, really? Oh, well, I guess it's not working hours for regular beavers, is it? All right, so if I have this here, I'm going to want this next one to be here. That one. So we'll get rid of that. We'll start with those two and see how that goes. Yeah, see, now we have no power, even though we had plenty before. They're probably all too busy building this, which is, you know, allowable. That's okay. We actually need this, so I will not get mad for that. But now that we have all of this looking like it's more or less taken care of, uh, do we have planks? I think we stopped importing them. Yeah, uh, we're going to continue importing planks because we have plenty of them now. We're going to import planks and we're going to import gears and we're going to go ahead and look into building out stuff here. Now, if I have a smelter, where am I going to put a smelter? I guess I could put it here, but that's going to be kind of ugly. I don't want to flood it, so it needs to be elevated, but that means I'm going to have to build platforms unless I put it somewhere. Oh, okay, well, this will uh, technically work, but there's no way to power it. Hmm. I guess I'll just build platforms. Why not? There's really no reason not to at this point. Okay, if I do that, I think that should let me put a smelter here and then put in, how much power does this require? 200 horsepower. Okay. So we're going to have to, uh, can't just put in, can't just put in one of these guys and call it a day, can I? No, I sure cannot, but I can... Hmm, gravity batteries. No, I don't have enough resources to build that over here quite yet. I guess I just really need to have... I'm going to make these beavers run on these little wheels, aren't I? I'm really going to do it. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. That is so mean. But progress waits for no man or beaver. Okay, so we'll just have the most ridiculous, incredibly stupid <laughs> setup for power you can imagine. Oh, man. Well, at least we'll be able to uh, avoid outsourcing, huh? I didn't want to put that there, but all right. We'll be able to avoid outsourcing and just do everything in-house. Eventually. Maybe at some point in time during this uh, whole thing. They still have not... I, I guess they'll just wait for that to be harvested, huh? I also could have just done that, you know. That's probably a better better thing. 
Oh, good. Biofuel. And we're not making catalyst because we don't have anybody to make catalyst, which is fine because we don't have a tank to store the catalyst, which is fine because we don't have a lot of sunflower seeds. Boy, that's a complicated ordeal, huh? I don't even know if I have any sunflower seeds. Those are dandelions. Um, or they could just be eating the sunflower seeds. <laughs> uh, that's fine. We will... Uh... Uh-oh. Okay. Now we are... Uh... Is this already at zero? All right, we're at uh, emergency floodwater release. Get the water in here and stop killing the crops. Okay, yeah, I see most of these survived. That's good. We're going to have to be uh, a little more careful. I think now we can... Uh, well, it doesn't matter really because it's going to evaporate at the same rate anyway. But now that that's in place, let's see. Where can I go to put this uh, water dump? Because the geometry for these things is kind of... Uh, Kind of suspect. I'm going to have to have... I guess I could just... Have this kind of go... Here in the corner and just have a weird... No, that's going to mess up the... Uh, can't do that. That's going to mess up the geometry of the... Uh, district gate. Which I guess I could just move. I guess that's always allowed. So I don't know why I'm uh, worrying about it. Anyway, I was going to have it be... Yeah, me too. I was going to have this be in this corner here. Alright, so this should be harvested and then removed. Which then means I can put in... This guy right here, just as soon as they're all finished. Alright, now somebody come gather this thing. Okay, good, there's somebody working there. We just gotta wait for this to be harvested. Any day now. Come on. That's going to take a while. We'll come back to that. I get the feeling this is pretty low. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and lower this again. Alright, that should still be okay to keep these trees alive. They're still kind of in the process of building this entire disaster mess. This will be much more efficient, though. All right, we're going to stop ex. Why are we exporting? God, stupid. That's probably why. Uh, why are there 127 gears? There should not be 127 gears. Um. Okay, I definitely didn't want that. I hope I didn't turn stuff off by mistake. No, okay, that's still okay. Okay, grilled potatoes. Okay, that's still there. Planks should still be 20. Why can't I find... There we go. Uh, this, this is fine. It's just a little careless. They still... Oh my god, they still haven't gotten this? Come on. Harvest this thing. Come on. We got stuff to do, man. Well, the good news is we have almost 4,000 water saved up. Is this gun down past 120? It has not. But they can get to it now, which is good. Uh, we have golems we've got to do something with, so let's put them on. Okay, we should have paused those a long time ago. I think we can pretty safely... Yeah, they're working here. I think we can add some more of these scavenger flags. Uh, 
and then find two spots for golems, which probably should go to another farm. Yeah. Okay, now they can harvest this stuff, and we can finally put our bees. Let's go bees. Come on. Finally. There we go. Bees go in there. And then bees will go here. Hopefully that makes stuff a lot better. Uh, paper, paper. Oh, we have so much paper. We're good. All right. Um, These guys should be going. They should be harvesting this stuff. I guess they aren't really going to be able to uh, control which ones they do or not, huh? How are we doing over here? We still haven't gotten anything done? All right, that's fine. That's the way things typically go. This scrap metal, they should have already kind of attached to this. Are we, uh, we're not exporting anything at all. Okay. That's allowed. We have nine beavers. One working here, two working here, and four unemployed. So why don't we just hire everybody at the district center so they can start building stuff? That sounds like a fun idea. See, now we're actually getting somewhere. It just takes me a while to get stuff right. Okay. This is already full of biofuel. All right. We're not really super worried about it. Although these uh, these golems have to go pretty far to get to the biofuel. We might want to... Yeah, they're probably okay. Let's put in this other beehive here. Uh, I think... Okay, so we want this one to be... Actually, right here is up. Okay, we were going to unplant here, I think is what it was going to be. I really should have planned this out a little better. No, it's not that one. It's going to be the one next to it. Unplant. We can replant you as a potato. That is fine. Then we will unplant here. So that should be six in between. Okay, I actually don't want that because I don't want them to be stung. So I'll do one here and I'll do one here. And this, eventually these are all going to be golems, which uh, I think is probably going to be now. So now all of our farmers are golems over here. So that should no longer be a problem. So I think, uh, let's see. Okay, three on a side, this should work perfectly. One, two, three. Put one there. I guess we'll just do this one here as well, because that should be okay. That way none of our regular beavers walking on these paths should be stung, because there's only a certain distance. If I've done this correctly, should be a-okay. Except maybe whoever's working here might have a, uh, a bad time. But I don't think that's really going to be a problem. Okay, this is dry again. This is the problem of pumping out of the same reservoir, but unfortunately, for the time being, that's really our only option. That's why I kind of want to get over here sooner rather than later so we can start doing... Uh, you know, things that make sense. But for now, let's go ahead and empty the rest of this out. We just have the one day left. There we go. So we'll put that back up to 2.5. This should last us plenty. Okay, we're starting on the smelter. That currently is emitting smoke despite not being powered, which is Interesting. Hmm. Oh, they're out of logs, and we're not importing. We're not importing logs. Okay, well, that would make sense. Here we go. Let's go, logs. Do your thing. All right, are there any more of these beehives we can put in? It looks like... Looks like we have a few. Yep. 
Just a couple. As soon as they get around to, uh, you know, getting rid of the stuff in the way. There we go. One there. And then last one here is going to be just a little bit. We have a couple of potatoes we can plant now. Because all the trees are gone. We still have tons of trees. Tons of wood. Going to be just fine. Have they made any progress on this? No. They are choosing not to... Not to get at that other stuff, which is uh, fine, I guess. Okay. So what I really want is for this whole thing to be empty. I guess it's not meant to be. I don't really need this to be uh, moving anyway. I don't know why I did that. This really should have been another... Uh, yeah. Well, there's only like one or two logs. We'll do uh, do another one of these guys. We'll put in a platform. Put in a platform as soon as I can remember how to, you know, work the computer. We'll put in another one like this. Let's see, we have so much power. We have way more power than we need. We actually have run out of golem parts, though, so... Let's, uh... I think... We don't have enough uh, beavers currently to work all of these jobs. We look at all those bees buzzing around. There we go. That should be pretty much perfect coverage for most of this farm, except for this area, because I haven't uh, haven't quite figured that out yet. Ah, this will get ninety percent of it. So if I just do that, then this one next to it... Oh, okay, that's going to take 800 years. We're definitely going to uh, get rid of that. Somebody come demolish this thing. But if we get these two squares full of beehives, then this entire thing will be taken care of, minus these six squares that I'm really not going to worry about at all. So that would be kind of pointless. Okay, here comes our water again. We're all good to go. There's still water down there, which is excellent news. All right, uh, so to cross this river over here, we're going to need, I guess, the uh, shortest path is going to be... There we go, that's going to fix itself. Shortest path is probably going to have to be just going across here. So I don't know, I didn't really do myself any... Myself, so I'm not multiple personalities... I didn't really do myself any favor with how I have this set up, but I do have... I have this path right here that I guess now is the closest one. So if we just kind of... Uh, get that set in place... Uh, I don't have the science to do these suspension bridges as much as I would love to. I just don't have that right now. So... We'll just... Ah, there's trees in the way. I think I can get away with just... Uh, doing one of those and putting in... A lumberjack flag there just to get everything taken care of. But if we get across here, then we can start thinking about how we want to manipulate this whole area in terms of water storage... Obviously, the biggest issue is going to be it's just going to go off the map here, which is, you know, not what you want. We'll let them take care of that for a little bit of time. We should actually be making progress over here now, even though we only have a very small amount of power going into this. We do need to go ahead and get this stuff all, uh, all hooked up here. Yes, build that thing. And then we'll put that one in. A very, very slow process. One piece at a time. So I think we can also look into putting in another, uh, another lodge and starting to have some actual production here. 
we are going to have to build a levee around the mine, I think, when we get to that point. That's also going to require a ton of power. Maybe. I'm not actually sure. It might not. Well, regardless, we got plenty to do. Just got to get this uh, taken care of. Let's go ahead and just put in another double lodge here. And I think we'll just put in, that'll be another six. That should be enough. We don't need to worry about anything else right now. Okay, we'll put in another uh, cross piece. Get that done, and then we'll put one more down here. And then we'll put a fourth wheel right here. I know this is super scientific. It's definitely the correct way. Don't ask any questions. <laughs> All right, one last one right here. And then we can just have a whole bunch of beavers running around like, uh, you know, beavers on a thing. That's not a very uh, helpful explanation. But it looks like they're just about done here. That's going to be nice to have that taken care of. We can unpause these things. I'm begging you to get rid of this scrap metal. Okay, we have three days. I was going to get more water stored up. Look at me. Not doing that. Oh, man. Now, let's see. This this back flooding is going to cause problems. Okay. I, I thought I was going to be smart today. Can I? Okay. Well, to what we are going to have to do is put in, put in one of these floodgates again. I thought it was going to be smart to do that. We'll put that guy in. Mark it at high priority, and then I think I think we're going to want to get this to go another full level higher. Which uh, probably is not happening, considering we have all these... Uh, it would take longer. It would take longer to build behind this than it would just to... Uh, just get rid of these. Just replace them completely with levees. It's it's going to be a process. Yes, I realize we have now just marked everything as high priority and that nothing really matters anymore. We got some time. Get this guy to cut down some trees. There we go. We have 4,000 water stored up, so that is excellent news. We're going to be in extremely good shape, even though we have 100 beavers. I'm not worried about it. Uh, do they finally harvest this? Yes. Okay, so let's put our water dump in place. They will build that eventually. That should help this area get a little better here. Go ahead and shut that off. All right. Yeah, see, they're making good progress here. Got plenty of time. All right, so now that that is done, we have this whole area set up. I don't think I'm going to be able to get over to the edge of the map. Although that is still... I don't know. I might actually be able to do it now. Just might be able to do it. So if I can get over here, I'm not sure it's going to reach that far. Although this one reached all the way over to that corner, so maybe. All right, that's good. That's good progress. If they've built this, which they have, good. Excellent. That's not going to mess anything up over here, is it? No, we'll just have this come all the way up to this uh, this bit right there. Okay. Yeah, get these things done. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. 1.5 days. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. 
I believe. Alright. So you're done. Too far from a district. Okay, is that a... Uh... Oh, that is... Oh, I don't have any paths built. Duh. Well, that was embarrassing. Alright, I like this. I like this. I think... I think we're going to be okay. Let's just get this thing built ASAP. Come on. I don't dare put them on 24-hour work detail again. Because I'm never going to live it down. I do that like an eighth time. All right, let's get uh, let's get something. I know someone's gonna say, "Why didn't you just build another staircase?" That takes uh, more time. They're just doing it the wrong way. I promise you, there is a uh, method behind this. Okay, so we have here. We're gonna put in here, and I, I gotta see how far out it's gonna let me go. I think I think I should have the range. I obviously want to put this... Well, maybe I don't want to put it at the end of the map. This is going to be a shorter... Uh, this is going to be a shorter distance if I just do this. Okay. So I think our distance is going to be fine... Yeah, I probably could have gone all the way to the edge of the map, but this is uh, just a little bit closer. It's going to give us a little bit better chance of actually having that done. They still have not gotten this down to uh, the correct level, which is unfortunate. Put that up to 3.0. Put this up to 3.0. I think... Okay, 22 days could definitely be worse. But we are making metal blocks, which is progress. I think we're in good shape. All right, we'll just uh, have to turn some of these into dams just so everything doesn't completely overflow. So I think that's going to be these five. I might actually want to make one of these into a dam just to try and uh, curb the... Uh, oh, we could actually do the middle too. Probably be easier since we have the time now. If I do those there, then I can do two here and then two more. But we'll let them uh, let them build that just like that. Probably should have made those a little bit further to the right, but you know how these things go. Anyway, if we get this side done over here, then, uh, well, it's still going to go out over here. But that's a problem we can maybe solve this episode too. If we can get a uh, another district built just to get more of a progress across here. We'll see. I imagine we will end up doing something like that, depending on how far out it's going to let us build. Amazingly, it's still letting us go out here, which is... Okay, so that's the very end. We will put another district on this side. And we'll put a gate right there. I need a drop-off point. Right there is going to be fine. We'll literally just use this district to build a wall. Can I? Or this gets too stupid. Yes. Just pop those right there. Looking good. Okay, yeah, we have so much. I just... Why won't you take these away? We have so much. 
so much. Do I just need to make more of these scavenger flags? Is that what it is? Because we have plenty of opportunities for people to, uh, you know, scavenge. Okay, those two are done. So I guess these also need to be dams. Actually, I could just keep those two as dams. And then come over here and make two over here dams. It's not going to be completely symmetrical, but I don't really care. There we go. I think we'll probably just need to have a... Let's go like so. I'll just do that. I don't need to worry about taking care of anything else. This is almost done. All right, so distribution post all the way over here. Surely that won't cause any problems, right? I guess I'll just have to build another one. It's not that big of a deal. I have plenty of resources. It's not a uh, not gonna be a problem. Guess so we'll just have those guys take care of that. But once that's done, they'll be able to build here. And who knows? We might end up actually, you know, using this district for something. Not entirely sure what that would be at this exact moment in time. But, uh... Come on, just get rid of these things. Unless it's coming from the top down, or no, it's just okay. <sighs> the disappointment. At least we're making more power than we currently need. I still don't have enough, uh... Beavers. We have two empty beds... So really, we do need to have more beavers in this district. We only have 87. Although if we were able to keep making golems, then I guess that probably wouldn't be that big of a deal. I'll just turn one of these columns on. Yes, I realize the irony of pausing the uh, golem assembler that's on top of the active factories, but this one has more parts in stock, so we'll go with that. We'll just have one of these operate for right now. Should be okay. How are things going over here? This is uh, fully complete. We'll go ahead and start supplying uh, water. What food do I have a ton of? I don't have any carrots. What are we using the carrots for? Oh, we're exporting those. That's right. Um, okay, we got so many grilled potatoes. Grilled potatoes and then logs. And then we should be able to, once that is in the process of uh, being filled up, we should be able to just start exporting some beavers over here. Okay, we now have... Uh, we got food and water. All right, we're going. Okay, District 3. Let's say four beavers. And they're all going to work in the district center. And they're all going to build this little dam right here. All right, meanwhile, we can keep going with this guy. Making good progress here. Should be... Not too much longer. That's all done. Is there a reason to put one of these here? No, am I going to do it anyway? Yes. Just makes it look a little bit more complete. Alright, the last block of there, and then that will be done. They're already uh, getting to work over here, which is fantastic to see. Well, once they have logs, you know. Of course, these guys have to go all the way across the map to sleep. I'm going to try. And for a while, it's going to be a little bit more than 100 because I sent four over here and they're going to uh, repopulate from here. Uh, we're going to try to keep it right around 100 beavers. I'm going to save for the rest of the playthrough. Do you think we can do that? 
I think that would be a fun challenge. Especially since we're making golems now, we can gradually just replace everything. A couple of you had ideas for like a beaver utopia type of map where none of the beavers have to work. It's all golems. You just end up rushing uh, golems as early as possible and eventually uh, just make it so all your beavers can live in a paradise where they don't have to work and their golem underlings will just take care of all the stuff for them. Could be kind of fun. And now they're finally getting rid of this stuff. I want to build my gravity batteries. Come on, guys. I didn't want to put that one there. Uh, I need to do another one of these. Slowly making progress. Eventually, once they get rid of all of this stuff, then we'll be able to, uh, you know, get uh, stuff built over here. How are we looking? Okay, we're making progress. Very slowly. These guys have to sleep sometime. Oh, well, they got food, they got water. Just waiting on logs. I am going to lower the uh, distribution limits here. Let's say 20 potatoes, because that's a couple days worth. And water will do 30. Because I don't want it to uh, be super dumb. All right. How else are we doing? How are we doing on our golem progress? 66%. Okay. Looking all right. Okay, our water dump seems to be, I believe, water in here is higher than out here, which is uh, good progress. We actually making metal blocks. We have we have sixteen. Okay, good, excellent. So now instead of exporting scrap metal, we will export metal blocks, which we will immediately go to distribution limits and turn off so we don't have another problem of I don't understand how this works because I've educated myself. But now we kind of have a problem where uh, all of our beavers are working. We have one working here. We have four working here. So that's five, six, seven. Oh, I don't need all these guys working here. There we go. Now everything is looking just fine. We are well on our way over here. This is going to be nice when that's done. It'll give us a ton more water storage across almost, I guess, a third of the map in terms of surface area. That's going to be huge. Massive, massive help to our water problems that we don't really even have, but, you know, it's fine. Okay, we have a golem that has nowhere to go, so let's find a spot for him. Okay, Lumberjack. We might not even need that many Lumberjacks, honestly. Okay, there's nobody working here. So if we just make these normal priority jobs and we replace one of these with a Golem. You're not a Golem, you're just sitting there. I'm kind of tempted to just... find a very low stress thing to uh, put them in but I guess it doesn't really matter we'll just replace as we can go maybe one of them can come over here yeah all right that looks good because that's uh wood we can take advantage is this dry again are you serious I thought we solved this problem all right so now the water dump is the most important job <sighs> man that's annoying I was hoping not to have to let water out of this all right. All right. So I guess I kind of, uh, I kind of played myself, huh? All right. Put that back up. 
I thought this was going to work. I guess it might not be enough. Well, this is all dry anyway, so that's fine. Okay, you are injured because you're working in the dangerous smelter. Is that it? Is that what this is? Okay, well. Looks like we're doing pretty well. Probably could stand to have more than one of these. But, uh, you know. I think it's fine. Alright, how are we halfway? We're about the same. Waiting for logs, waiting for logs. Oh, I know we have logs, so just bring me the logs. Let's go. This is going to end up being another one of these, uh, another one of these things. Come on. 17 open jobs. Okay, 26% away. Come on. You got to go a little faster than that, huh? Okay, I guess we'll just make these water pumps normal priority jobs. We can start we can start assigning golems to other stuff. It doesn't just have to be, you know, all of this kind of thing. Although for right now, I don't have really the science to unlock too much else. Okay. 500. I mean, I guess I could. I really want them to be self-replicating, but that just takes so much science. Come to think of it, we uh, haven't built an observatory yet, but that requires a lot of horsepower we just don't have. So I wonder, do I have to research this? Yes, 500. Let's, I, I want to try and save science for now, so let's just keep on... I don't want to waste them on a gatherer flag. Though these, uh, these lumberjack flags, we really don't need that many, especially if we have a golem, we probably only need... Oh, there's hardly even any trees over here. Okay, you can go bye-bye. You can go bye-bye. You can go bye-bye. So that frees up some jobs. Then I think... How much is it for a grill? 750 really? 250 for a builder's hut. That's probably... Well, we're not doing any building, though. So this is how I don't get things done. I just sit here. <laughs> and I debate on where I should put my golems. I would like to keep them close to the catalyst tank. So I guess we'll just... Ah... Uh, well, I guess that doesn't really matter. We'll end up being fine anyway. Still waiting on wood, really? For all this? Don't tell me they just don't have any logs. No, we have 105, so why are we not... Is the hauling post empty? Where is the hauling post? No, it's not empty. They're just not taking... Oh, there's nobody working on the distribution post. All right. That would explain it. Okay. Well, that makes me feel a little bit better. It's like there's no way it could have been taken that long. Right, these guys got to get a move on. They only have 11.3 days. Oh, they got so much time. We got time, we're good. We are good to go. I guess I could be putting in another beehive over here. Just to cover all of that stuff. Are we still exporting all of our carrots over here? Yes. We really don't need that many... Uh, that many grilled potatoes, do we? Uh, let's let's turn the gears down to say twenty, just to make sure we're uh, not going to be in terrible shape here. I kind of want to put in a second smelter, so let's do that. I know that we're going to need more power for that. We'll we'll fix that eventually. Actually, I guess we could probably. Can I put a large windmill? I can. I just need to get paper.
One of those there should be fine. Okay. We have so much paper. Um, let's put in some paper over here. Set ourselves a limit of, say, 20. Just to make sure. That will probably help a little bit. All right, how are we doing? This is still wet. That's good. Yeah, we're getting much closer here. Much better. And this area is all prepped and ready to go. This will take the water up to pretty much the level of this platform that I guess we really can't do anything with. Unfortunately. Oh, there's not really anything stopping me from just building on top of this and putting another water tank in. Is there? No, there sure isn't. I just have to have a path. Come on. And you know we have to do our... Uh, a little decoration trick. That's a fun one. I think most of these, all these should have that already. Except the ones down here, but they're always underwater, so it doesn't really matter. How are we looking? Just as soon as this is done, uh, this district is going bye bye Okay, we're going to stop... Exporting water and carrots. They shouldn't need any more than that. They only have three of these things left to build. Okay, we have another golem we can assign. Let's put him on. I guess for right now the only thing I can really do is this, uh, this gatherer flag, huh? I don't want to put them on that one, though. Um, gather flag. Gather flag. I kind of just don't want to mess with that. It's 500. I, I've got to save my sense. All right. Fine. We'll just... Hmm. Yeah. We'll just put them there. That's okay. It's going to fill up most of the jobs pretty soon anyway. Let's hurry up and get this thing going. Come on. And our de power demand is uh, substantially higher. I know I said I was going to do something about that this episode, I'm sure. Some of you have some choice comments to make to me about that. But... Uh, you know, sometimes it's just one of those things where you, you really just kind of can't. You're not in a great position to really accomplish too much. This is already full. Great. Let's see, we could... Could just have uh, something come off the side of this, but I don't know. This, this is just such a great place for it. And it bugs me that this isn't... Or I could just, uh, could just do this. That's actually kind of, uh, kind of weird that I hadn't already thought of that, now that I come to think of it. I just bypass this whole thing. So I want to research these. But I don't know if I, if I just do this, it's going to be so laughably just not useful. So it really has to be kind of hanging out over the top of some place. Or we could just blow this up when we get explosives eventually. Just don't have the uh, capacity for that yet. So my idea was just to kind of, you know, keep building up. Maybe find some sort of buildings to put uh, 
underneath this so it would at least kind of make sense. Like little storages or something. So if I did that, then you know we could just kind of gradually build up. This is hideous. This is an absolute disaster. <laughs> oh, that's so ugly. It's so ugly. Oh, thank you, Timberborn, for making the large warehouse. Oh, that's almost a perfect shape for this. What am I doing? Oh, I'm doing this whole thing wrong. Hmm, but I already built this. Oh, do I dare? Do I dare? Oh, it's only 15 logs. I guarantee you this is going to make somebody mad. But they're all going away. <laughs> oh no, what have I done? What have I done? We'll put that there. Then we're going to have to get a, get crafty about how we build the rest of this stuff. But, you know, it's a process. And at least we'll have actual buildings we can, you know, use. Instead of just kind of a waste of space. But I can already hear you saying, wait, 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 you can, uh, you can just, uh, you can just build the underground storage and have a lot more storage. But yeah, you know, this is, uh, helpful, though. Okay, we, uh, how are we doing? Oh, these bastards. Okay. You, you, you. Are you, are you chilling in here? You have done nothing. You have accomplished nothing. I expected nothing, and I'm still let down. <sighs> this is annoying. This is annoying. Hmm. I had hoped that this would go just slightly better than that, but, uh, you know, can't always get what you want. Oh, I didn't connect that by path yet? Okay, well, that's, uh, unfortunate. I still haven't finished this. Waiting on paper? Well, at least we have uh, windmills. Alright, this is done. These guys don't have any food, which means bye-bye. Uh, yeah, wake up and then you can leave. Oh, it's too bad I've got 91 logs trapped over here. I guess we can just, uh... Just kind of, uh, get this, uh, evacuated? Are you just gonna keep adding to it? Really? No. So I guess this is just gonna sit here, huh? Okay, well... That's fine, we'll just ignore it. I guess, I, if I really want this to be full, I guess it has to be a mechanical water pump. That's just 5,000 science and 700 horsepower is just not happening. I guess this is just not fast enough. Probably it would have to be a, uh, a golem to make this really really worthwhile, but that's not not a great way to utilize a golem for an entire uh, just dumping water. 
Okay, do we have two are incapacitated? Why are they incapacitated? That's not incapacitated. That's not even beavers. Beaver child. They call them kits in the other parts of the game, but this calls it a beaver child. That's uh, interesting. It's not going to tell me how they got injured. Probably work in the factory. Yeah, I wish I wish it told you how they got injured. That would be nice. All right, so what I really need now is to get this in place. I think they can still build this. Maybe? We'll find out. I don't know what they, uh, what they attached to to build that, but that's, uh, impressive. Okay, so now they can't reach that. But they can... I'm gonna have to separate these. Maybe this isn't such a great idea. I don't know, I'm starting to doubt my uh starting to doubt myself here. Uh, if I just do this and get that going there, that's gonna be enough to get me up a little higher. I just want it to have enough height for the gravity battery to, you know, actually do something. Come on, three point three days. This is dry again. Okay. This is officially a waste of time. <laughs> this is this is unbelievable. I know. Or someone will have some sort of evidence that I have quote unquote done this wrong, which is entirely possible. But if we uh can save this just a little bit. It looks like we averted catastrophe. But now this is very dry over here. That's not the end of the world. Alright, so this is actually working perfectly. Looks good. We have a golem that we have nowhere to put yet, so... Oh, we actually have the catalyst tank now, okay. But nobody available to work it. Her. Alright. I'm going to spend it. Don't care. Let's go get a golem in here. Have him take care of all this. All right. Uh, I'm going to put in this. Oh, this is so ugly when this stuff happens like this. That's fine. Now I just have to figure out how to get back up to the uh, side here. I guess I could just pause this one and let them take all the scrap metal out of it. And then put stairs here. I know that's not very, uh, not very efficient of me. Oh boy. That's the fun part about doing one of these things where you just kind of, you know, play the game. And whatever happens, happens. Because then fun stuff like this occurs, and you just you just have no no recourse whatsoever except to just kind of you know own the fact that you really have no idea what you're doing. Well, that's authentic, and I like that. Okay, that's empty. Let's put in some stairs, and then we'll put in one of these guys. I think I can get away with doing this. So we're probably not going to need much more storage than this, but I did want to take advantage of this while I can. Get something gone here. I think, is this going to be high enough? Maybe, maybe not. The world may never know. I do want to get at least one gravity battery, though. So if I can get uh, 
I might just, you know what? I might just put this here. Why not? Let's get something done today, right? Get absolutely, literally anything accomplished. Too far from a district. Alright, we'll just have to, uh, have to build this first. Thank God the drought's almost over. Have they managed to kill all my plants again? No. Okay. But these trees aren't looking too hot. They'll be fine though. 0 0.7 days. We are gonna we're gonna have to find a better solution to this. And I really hope it's not just put in multiple pumps. Although, uh, looks like that might end up being what the uh, quote-unquote solution is, just to have this whole thing serviced. All right, uh, they put this in. All right, let's put in this gravity battery just so we can say we did anything. And then I've got to put in... Uh, I probably should not have put these stairs here. That's going to become a problem, isn't it? Gears, 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 gears. This district should have plenty of gears. Yes. Why are there so many gears in this district? Did I do this wrong again? 67 gears? I mean, I, I guess, but I, I didn't think we... Uh, I didn't think we needed that many gears over here. That's limited to 20. Okay, well, that's fine. Oh, look, these are all dead again. Good. All right, come on. I have this set to the minimum, so hopefully that will help. Boy, this episode's gotten long. Hour 10 plus. Exact runtime isn't really uh, obvious to me because my recording timer's off slightly because it's I start recording before I start loading the game. Oh, boy. Okay, well, at least these aren't dead anymore. All right, so that's going to be uh, fun. The really fun part's going to be to fill this whole thing up. So we are going to wait until that happens for the first time. So I guess we could, just for the sake of uh, getting something done here, open this ever so slightly so as not to flood anything over here. This is all the way up. Yep, good. All right. Now we should start seeing something here. Okay, gravity battery is complete. 16,000. It's better than I thought it would be. So that ought, to, that ought to account for something, at least. We have another golem we can put to work somewhere. It's going to be... Uh, oh, yeah, I said it was going to be here after we uh, research that. Okay, cool. All right, we are still very slowly filling this up. But pretty soon this whole area should be underwater, which is exciting. Things looking good. But it's going to take a long time to get full enough because there's going to be so much more space to contend with. It's beautiful. That's a lot of water. These flooded buildings are these ones down here. We don't really care about. That's fine. Okay, we have our dams all in the correct spots here. Taking a very long time to fill up, but that's okay. It's really going to be a huge help having this, all this extra storage. That's going to be nice. The real question is, can we get all this filled up to the point where it's overflowing and then also fill up the rest of the stuff? It's going to take a long time. 
All right. Um, we probably should go ahead and put in, while we're waiting, another storage like this. Gonna have to, uh, yeah, we'll have to get rid of these, put in large storage again. Put in our platform, put in large storage again. And then this will just end up being just for the time being put in nope, that's the wrong one. Put in here, put in here. Get that done. Probably not gonna be today. Okay, so this is overflowing, which is good. That means we can push this back up to 2.5. Get that completely filled up and then push this up to 2.5. So now we've added a ton of extra water storage over here. And we've got some gravity batteries that are uh, under construction. We've got this guy doing his thing. Obviously, we need a whole lot more capacity. And we have a drought coming in three days. So I think we're in a pretty good spot to... Uh, just kind of chill and uh, debrief here for today's episode while they work on these gravity batteries. So yeah, we are uh, 17 cycles in now. And we've gotten a whole lot done. We're still not super optimized where we really want to be, but, you know, it could definitely be worse. I've made some mistakes. I've made a lot of, I think, decent decisions. But uh, that's part of the fun of the game. Learn as you go. This is my first time ever really seriously playing hard mode. Played a couple days, I said in episode one. Played a couple days before I started recording. And those uh, did not go very well. But I think we've learned a whole lot. We've gotten a lot better at the game. Hopefully you've learned something. I know I've learned a ton uh, in no small part thanks to those of you in the comments who have offered me advice and kept me in check when I've made mistakes. So thank you. Even those of you who are a little less enthusiastic about my playing style and are very quick to point out mistakes. I value that kind of feedback too, so don't ever feel like you can't criticize what I'm doing. Just don't be super mean. <laughs> no, you guys are fine. We, we have a really, really good time here talking about the game and just enjoying stuff. I like watching this go up and down. It's fun. I figured these guys would go a little faster on this. I guess we're behind on planks. But, yeah. I mean, look at this. We've gotten a lot of cool stuff done. I, I really like having all this water here. That's nice. And we are going to end up dynamiting stuff pretty soon. I technically have enough right now to get started, but I don't want to be continually adding industrial jobs until we have beavers or golems to fill them. So it is going to be kind of slow going from here on out with that regard. But I think we're going to be in good shape. It's just going to not, uh, not have these quite done as soon as I thought. But yeah. That's going to be just about all the time we have for today's episode. As always, I really appreciate each and every one of you take the time out of your day to watch these videos. It means a lot to me, and I always like reading the comments. So again, if you have anything to say, questions, comments, concerns, want to roast me for being bad at the game or not reading the manual, I, I don't even know if there is a manual, not, not reading the wiki, not, uh, not doing this, not doing that, I accept all the comments. I'll respond when I can. I read every single one, and uh, I just enjoy talking about stuff, so don't be shy. We have a good time, and there's a lot of great people in the comments, and a lot of you have been here since at least the very beginning of me doing Timberborn uploads again, which I guess at this point was a month and a half ago. Some of you have been here since the Ostrov days, and that is fantastic. That's a long time ago. We're going to get back into that hopefully soon. I know I want to have uh, that series more or less complete before the next update for Ostrov drops, which, again, we don't know when that's going to be. Hopefully soon see the uh, development team in Ukraine. Hopefully they can stay safe amidst all that stuff that's going on. But uh, yeah, we've had a good time. I'm glad you're here. We've got a lot more left to do in this hardcore playthrough. And then we might try update three. We might try some mods. We might try a couple other things. But I think we've still got another, maybe about another week of this, unless I manage to just kill all my beavers, which let's hope that doesn't happen. But again, thanks so much for being here. We have half a day left until the drought, so we're going to call it for today's episode. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, whatever it is you're doing. Stay safe, have fun, and until we see you next time, well, you know what we say, we'll see you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.